Hello guys, welcome back to SES LTD Deals. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on SES software. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to show you a comparison between ReachInbox and Outboundly.ai. So both of these tools are cold email automation platforms and the good news is both of these tools are available on AppSumo as lifetime deals. So I'm going to show you some differences between these two lifetime deals to help you make an informed decision whether you should get outboundly or reach inbox so let's see all of the plan and features in order to determine the differences so here are all of the features of outboundly and here are all of the features of reach inbox so i'm going to show you a comparison between two tiers license tier one of reach inbox and the license tier one of outboundly.ai so the first difference that I have noticed is the monthly email sent which means how many emails you can send each month and on the tier 1 of outboundly.ai you can send 5000 monthly emails but on reach inbox the amount of emails you can send every month is unlimited which is amazing. Now there is also another relevant point that is monthly active lead which means obviously you can send unlimited emails but how many people you can send those emails to. So the amount of people that you can send your emails to or reach out to is 5000 for tr one on reach inbox and on outboundly.ai the amount of people you can reach out to is 3000 as you can see. And then there is a very useful feature on Rich Inbox, which is this custom workspace. You can create one custom workspace if you purchase the license tier one. But on Outboundly AI, as you can see on their feature list or this tier list, there is no feature called custom workspace because it is not available currently. But according to the founder of Outboundly, this custom workspace feature is going to be added in the future. And something I really like is that both of these tools, Outboundly and Rich Inbox, both of them have unlimited warm-up, which is a really useful feature. But they have different warm-up pools in order to warm up emails for their customers. So first, let me show you how Rich Inbox warm up their emails. Let me give you some details. As you can see, according to the founder, Rich Inbox have their own warm-up pool. It has over 15,000 mailboxes. And here are some more details about the warm-up of Rich Inbox. As for Outboundly, they use Warmify to warm up their emails and this Warmify is owned by Outboundly.ai. You can get more details about it if you visit their website. So here's the website. So if you need more information, you can visit this website in order to know about their warm up service. Now let's talk about the AI credits. So as you can see on Rich Inbox, you get 3000 AI word credits per month. So in order to use the AI features such as generating emails using AI, Specifically for those features, you have to use these credits. So coming back to outboundly.ai, as you can see, there is no AI credits mentioned. It is because in order to use AI features of Outboundly, you have to bring your own OpenAI API key. But on Rich Inbox, you do not have to connect any OpenAI API key. So once you connect your OpenAI API key, you can use the AI features of Outboundly. But there are some AI features on Outboundly that you will not get on Rich Inbox, such as this template generation. So you can generate template and you can also save that template. So for tier 1, you can generate 20 templates every month. But as you can see on Rich Inbox, there is no feature called template generation or template saving. And there is another AI feature on Outboundly that you do not get on Rich Inbox. That is this personalization. So as you can see, you get 500 monthly personalization credits on Outboundly tier 1. So using these credits, you can generate personalized emails such as generating icebreakers or first lines. Once again, Rich Inbox does not have any personalization feature. There is another feature that I found on Outboundly.ai that seems really useful. That is email verification. So on the tr one, you get 3000 email verification credits every month. But on Rich Inbox, there is currently no email verification feature. However, according to the roadmap of Rich Inbox, the email verification or the email validation, this feature is on their roadmap and it is currently in progress as you can see. There's also a very important point that is the integration. So how many integration options these cold email platforms have got? So for Rich Inbox, you have Slack. You also got Zapier, but it is coming soon. It is not available yet. You also have access to the Rich Inbox API. And on the left top side, as you can see, they also have webhooks. Now let's see the integrations of Outboundly. So here are all of the integration options available with Outboundly. You got OpenAI, Webhooks, HubSpot, Pipedrive, and there are some upcoming integrations such as Zapier, Public Connect, and Amazon SCS. 
I have showed you almost all the key differences between Outboundly and Rich Inbox. Now I think I should also show you all the AI features. Outboundly and Rich Inbox both have very advanced AI features in order to enhance your cold email campaigns. So first let me show you all the AI features of Rich Inbox. So as you can see currently I am on the sequence creation section and I can create a sequence manually or also using AI. So if I click on this AI, I can generate a single email or I can also generate a multiple email sequence. So for generating single email, I have to provide the purpose and the goal of the email and also the elements and value proposition. I can also adjust some advanced settings. Now let me show you this generating multiple email sequence. So once again, I have to provide the purpose and the value proposition. But there are some advanced settings that you can adjust on here too. Instead of using AI to create your sequence, you can also opt for this manual creation. So if I open this, so even on this email editor, there are some AI features called Magic AI Generator. So you can regenerate your current email copy. You can generate spin tags for your email. You can create completely new email copy using AI. And obviously, you can also create new AI-based email sequence and variants using AI. So this was a brief overview of the AI features of Rich Inbox. Now let's go to Outboundly. So now I am on Outboundly and now I am on the sequence section that you will find on the campaigns. So one of their best AI features is this AI template builder. So click on this. You can provide your website URL in order to generate a persona that is going to be specific to your brand. And then in order to create a template, an email template that is going to be relevant to your brand, you have to provide some details such as the problem that you solve, the proposed solution, the product or service name, the company description. And you also have to provide the industry that you are going to reach out to. And then you can generate templates using AI. You can also save that templates. And remember how I told you that you can also generate personalized email using Outboundly. So for that, you have to go to this prospect management and then you have to click on this AI prompt. And as you can see, here is the template hub. So on this hub, you will get access to all of the templates that are made by the users. And if they make the template public, you can use them. So there are some very useful templates such as this generating personalized icebreakers. So you can use it in order to generate first lines for your emails that are going to be very personalized according to your leads. There is also this industry icebreaker. And if you go to this my templates, click on new prompt you can now create your own template using your own prompt so once again let me show you all of the ai features that are going to be offered by rich inbox and outboundly so i have showed you all the differences between rich inbox and outboundly between these two lifetime deals now let me give you an overview of each of these tools which means i'm going to show you a overview of the overall features of both rich inbox and outboundly so let's start with Rich Inbox. So first of all, you have to connect your email account and here are all of the options. So you can connect G Suite, Outlook. You can also connect any other providers using IMAP or SMTP. And if you want to bulk import your email accounts, you can also do that using a CSV file. And you can see the sample of the CSV file by clicking on this. I think currently Rich Inbox allows you to connect your personal Gmail accounts for cold email outreach but they are going to remove this feature because according to the new rules set by Google you cannot cold email outreach using your personal emails and in order to create your campaign go to this section and then click on new and if you notice there is a workspace section so if you have multiple workspaces all of them are going to appear on top and then you can select a certain workspace and then create a campaign only for that workspace so this way you can separate campaigns for each workspace so let's create a campaign click on continue now i have to add my leads for the campaign so i can import in bulk using the csv file you can see the sample csv file from here i can also add the leads using google sheet or i can also add manually and then i have to create the sequence so i can create using ai or i can also create manually and now I can create steps. As you can see, one step has already been added. I can add another step. I can also add multiple variants on each step for emails. And then there is the scheduling feature. And last but not the least, there are some options that you can change, such as you can add your mailbox. You can also change some settings. As you can see, here are those. And then you can launch your campaign. There are also some analytics. So here are all of the analytics that you are going to see. And then on Rich Inbox, we have this one box, which is the Unified Inbox. And you also get the Analytics section. So now I am on the dashboard of Outboundly. And you can see the amount of emails that are delivered. 
clicked on subscribed and also the open rate you can also see email performance you can see all of your campaigns and also all of your prospects and in order to create campaign click on this and then you have to click on new campaign now the first step in order to create your campaign is to add your prospects so you can click on this add prospects and then you can add them manually or if you click on this you can import using csv file which means the bulk import there's also another option called move form list and obviously outboundly has an amazing feature called verify emails so once you add your prospects you can also verify their emails and then you can go to the sequence in order to create the email write the email you can add new steps you can also add variants and then there's the scheduling option which means you can effectively schedule your cold email campaigns and on the left side there are also some other features such as this prospect management so on here you can create a new list you can see all of your campaigns you can access the ai prompt you can filter your prospects you can also refresh the list and then there is this inbox the unified inbox then there is this email account section so you can add various email accounts in order to run your campaigns click on this add email account so you can connect google g suite but keep in mind you cannot connect your personal gmails you can connect any provider via smtp or imap you can also bulk connect your accounts using a csv file there are some other features such as this domain verification you can also add team members you can add prospects fields you can add custom tracking domains blacklist domains you can also connect your open ai api key and you can also get access to the public api and then there is this email warm up as well as the templates that you save so overall i have to say both of these are amazing tools amazing cold email automation platforms and both of them have amazing features so in order to purchase any of these tools you should have a close look at all their features as well as their differences and you should also determine all of your requirements in that way you can effectively decide which tool is best for you as for each inbox here are all of the features as you can see and here are three tiers there is also license tier 4 and as for outboundly here are all of the features and here are some of the tiers there is also license tier 4 and even license tier 5 on outboundly so if you want to buy outboundly.ai or reach inbox on a lifetime deal from AppSumo make sure you check the link in the description below I hope this video was helpful to you if it was make sure to subscribe to our channel for more content like this so if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits Gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.